Hey everybody, welcome to Home by Accident. I'm Matt. And I'm Nick. And this is part two of our time at Como Retro Game Con. In this episode, we're going to cover our pickups. Make sure you guys stick around to the end, because we've got a bonus pickup as well. We do? Yep, so let's jump right in. Okay, so for our first stack of games that we got, we bundled them together for $20 from the same person. We got Tomb Raider Anniversary, we got Tomb Raider Underworld, and we got Dark Souls. If we go off to price charting, Anniversary goes for about $13, Underworld goes for about $10, and Dark Souls is $10 as well. They're all complete and in great shape. So this next pickup was actually a trade. I ended up with Cold Sep Saga, a boxed copy for my Xbox 360 collection. I did a trade of two of my loose cart Super Nintendo games, Stone Protectors and Power Rangers the Movie. It was a straight across trade. There is no booklet included but the game is in really great shape. With that, let's jump over to Ben from Filthy Game Room and he can share some information about his store. This is Ben Bizzle from Filthy Games Room hanging out. Uh, we are at Como on 420. Uh, at any rate, we did a little bit of, of dealing earlier and he said that he wanted to give us a chance for shouting out the store. So we're located in St. Charles, Missouri at 3479 Newtown Boulevard. So if you get a chance, you're ever in St. Louis, please come by and visit us. We really appreciate it. Okay. So for these two games, I picked them up separately. The first one is Resident Evil Zero on the GameCube. It's complete and in good shape. Uh, I ended up paying $10 for it, but it goes for about $17 on price charting. So I did pretty good there. The next one is Dead Rising 2 on the 360. Uh, it's in good shape, uh, and I paid about retail for it, but I love the Dead Rising franchise, and it's the non-Platinum Hits edition, which I'm trying to get all those of the Dead Risings. So for the games that I picked up individually, the first one up is a cart only of Bomberman Second Attack. This is the Japanese version, as you can tell by the back of the cartridge, as well as the front. This is a lot cheaper than the North American version, which goes for hundreds of dollars. This one I picked up for five. This will be a great player's copy for me until I can find that North American version. The next one I got was Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns. It is complete. The case is a bit tattered, but the disc, insert, and booklet are in great shape. And this last one is Hunted. This was given to me by my friend Brian as we were hunting around the show. He happened to find this complete in the case and just handed it off to me as he knew I needed it for my collection. So this next deal was another bundle deal. This one was from Retro Tony this time. The first game we got is Hunter the Reckoning Wayward. This is complete, lots of stickers, but not in too bad a shape. The next game we've got is Enslaved for the Xbox 360. This one's being added to my collection as I did not already have it. Surprisingly, I didn't have Halo Anniversary as well. Also complete and in really good shape. This one was kind of interesting. We've got Divinity 2 for the Xbox 360, but if you notice, it's a Best Buy pre-order bonus edition. This one's really cool, and I'm excited to add that to the collection as well. And the last thing we got here was a Sega Saturn Retro Bit controller. This has the dongle for the Sega Saturn, as well as using it with your PC. So we got all of these items, plus actually two other games that we ended up sending home with Brian for 50 bucks. I think that was a really good deal, even the fact that we gave two of the games away. So this next pickup was another bundle deal. We got all these items for $35. This first one is The Herbs, Sims in the City for the original Xbox. This is one that Nick wanted to add to his collection. It is complete, and it looks like it's in really good shape. Next up, theming with The Herbs, we've got The Sims on the PS2. Complete as well. And what do we got here? A little bit of cheat codes saves us some time. And the last game in the bundle that we picked up for Nick was Remember Me. No booklet. But if you remember from previous episodes, it's got that printed warranty in the insert. Odds are, no booklet was ever included with Remember Me. I've never even heard of this game, so I'm looking forward to giving it a try. For my collection, we picked up Final Fantasy 13 2. This is in amazing shape. It is complete. And surprisingly, one I didn't have for my collection. This next one was kind of a throw-in. It's in pretty rough shape, but we got LEGO Jurassic World. And probably the most exciting part about this bundle was the Alien Colonial Marines Collector's Edition for the Xbox 360. This is complete, with exception of the game. I already own the game, so really in truth, it'll be easy for me to complete. I'm really excited to add this to my collection. So this next bundle deal was the biggest pickup of the show for us all day long. 
First up, we've got the Resident Evil 4 preview disc for the GameCube. It does appear that it is complete. I'd imagine this never came with a booklet. It's in phenomenal shape, and that's something Nick wanted to add to his collection. The rest of these games are PS1 games that we've wanted to add to our collection. First up, we've got a complete copy of Road Rash in the jewel case version. This is one that is also available in a long box, but Nick wanted to add this to his collection as I already own the long box version. We've also got Blazing Dragons. Another one I'm really excited about, Point Blank 2. I love the gun games. We've got Star Wars Rebel Assault 2. All these games are complete. We've got Warhammer. Something about those double case, jewel cases I just absolutely love. This is one I used to have when I was a teenager. We've got Command and Conquer Red Alert Retaliation. Glad to put that back in the collection. This is a series that I've always wanted to check out, which is Bushido Blade. And we've got the sequel here. Next up, another double jewel case, Worms Armageddon. Now we're starting to get into kind of the heavier games of this bundle. We've got Alundra. It is complete. We've got the sequel, Alundra 2. Breath of Fire 3. Breath of Fire 4. And then probably the best game of the bundle, and it's in excellent shape, we've got Xenogears. These are all games that I've kind of wanted to add to my collection, and Nick grabbed a couple of items as well. We're really excited to have these in the collection. We did pay about $480 for the whole bundle, which I think was a really good buy, given the quality of games. So as a little bit of a bonus, yesterday I was out and about in town and noticed that the local high school was having a sale in the parking lot. The students are getting ready to travel abroad and needed to raise some funds. I happened to check it out and found some stuff. So, what's in the box? So all the items in the box are actually for Nick, some of which are for his budget Xbox 360 collection, as well as an extra item that isn't related at all. So, let's jump well, right in. Yeah, I do like surprises, so I guess we'll dig in. Okay, so right off the bat, right on top, we have our second controller for my 360. So now I can actually have a friend play with me. So that's cool. If you notice, that controller is in really nice shape. It is. And it even still has the little nubbies on it. They, I didn't it negotiate does. at all with these sellers because it was a fundraiser. They asked $5 for that controller. No kidding. Looks, it looks like it was a Player 2 controller that never came over. So <laughs> that's cool. Sure. All right. Next up, we have... Oh, cool. We have the Binding of Isaac Four Souls, which is the board game or card game version of Binding of Isaac. So that'll be fun. So this was a different seller from the other items, but it was six bucks. I mean, and I love Binding of Isaac, so I'm all for it. I'm all for giving it a go. <laughs> all right, next up. Oh, such a, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this is one I've wanted for my collection. This is uh, Undead Nightmare, Red Dead Redemption, the first one. It's actually um, Game of the Year edition, so it's got the Game of the Year disc as well as the Undead Nightmare disc. No kidding. No yeah, kidding. So it's the whole package. Yep. So that's a good that's a good one. That's gonna be lots of replayability. So Do you wanna take a gander that. is what I paid for that? How much? It was Five the, bucks? It was the same seller as the controller. Ten bucks. I paid a dollar. You paid a dollar? A dollar. You paid a dollar. <laughs> and it looks great. <laughs> That's Again, insane. I didn't negotiate at all with them. They told me a price and I paid it. Hey, they're they're trying to travel abroad. They could have charged whatever they wanted to. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. We got one more thing in the box, which, all right. Uh, another game for my collection here. We got The Price is Right. Decades. Decades. Yep. Again, so, a dollar pickup. A dollar pick. Hey, hey, dollar game, you know. So I did for the family, you know. I did pick up a couple other board games, which I'll show you later off camera, but these were mainly for you. Uh, I did in a sense, kind of tip the seller. So like he asked five for the controller and a dollar piece for the games. So I gave him a $10 bill. And then the games are the board games themselves. I think one I picked up for four, one I picked up for six, one I picked up for 12. So I gave him 25. So Not that either bad. way, they were really good games. I think one of the games you'll be interested in, it's Zombie 15. I guess it's like you play this board game where zombie survivals, but every session is like 15 minutes long. Okay, that's so, cool. Well, because we, we play Zombicide, which is a same kind of deal, but hour long process. So a little quicker. It might yeah, be <laughs> this might be a, a, an easy like, hey, we got time to play a copy of, you know, Zombie 15. So Right. Well, cool. Well, I appreciate it. This is awesome. I'm uh, definitely going to get some enjoyment out of this, these games. Yeah. So that budget 360 collection is just going to continue to grow. So bigger there, and bigger. Are, there are deals out there. You just got to be on the hunt. Yep. So those were our pickups from the Como Retro Game Con. 
If you like what you've seen, stick around for more content to come. If you need more in the meantime, check us out over on Spotify. We've got a podcast with over 40 episodes. We appreciate you guys watching, and thanks again.